You are now making that huge transition in your life. You are taking charge of what you need to do and who you want to be. I'm Eric with Leadership Developed, and this week we're going to talk to our new professionals who have made that transition to take charge of their lives, to be able to set themselves up for success. And I want to help you become that successful person. When I first started leading in the Marine Corps, it took me about a few, it took me a couple of years to figure out what my leadership styles were. My overall style is dynamic. It flows through the different styles required to be able to inspire and to get people to take on my vision, go with me on the mission, and believe in my core values. So I would like to present to you today some ideas, some insights that will help you be able to get on the fast track to success. Let's go. First thing I want you to consider is your mindset. Your mindset is everything. It creates your strength, your resiliency, your ability to deal with the day-to-day -day challenges as they hit you from nowhere. We talked last year in these previous videos about different types of mindsets. Find out which one works for you. And while we're on the topic of idealism, I want you to hang on to your idealism. Why? Because you're going to have enough people in your organization that are cynics. You see, we're going to take this chart of idealism. This is where you're starting at. And then as experience goes by, and you, or as you gain more experience and you've been facing more challenges, you find yourself coming off that idealism and working your way towards the cynicism. And then once you're in the cynicism, that's where you have to decide, are you going to stay down here and flutter, or are you going to make that transition, that transformation where you figure out the balance between idealism and cynicism. So for me as a leader, I've always cherished my young new leaders that are idealistic. They reminded me of our goals. They reminded me of why we started this to begin with. Hang on to that idealism for your leaders. Help them be able to have that balance so they can help the organization propel into the future. In your first few months in the job, you're going to feel like you have no time to take care of yourself. Trust me, you need to make time for yourself. Not, not only including your nourishment, your health, but also your growth. If you're not growing, you're dying. So take time to help yourself become a better leader. Watch these videos, read leadership books, invest in yourself. Ask the corporation to invest in you, into your development. To help you set yourself above your peers is by doing the small things, the attention to details. These are the things that allow you to show your ability to rise above the rest, to rise to the occasion. Choose what you believe in and don't get caught up in the group think. Don't get caught up in the group complaining. That's what hurts you. Do the things that allow you to show that you have more value to give than just complaining. One of the most important things that you need to gravitate to while you're just beginning is your ability to be flexible and adaptable. They're not the same, but they work in complement of each other. By doing this when you're first starting off allows you to get ahead of those who are stuck in their ways. As you grow senior in your organization or as, as you develop yourself into a more senior leader, you will find that you catch yourself into certain patterns. By being adaptable and flexible allows you to break those patterns, get you out of that comfort zone, and allow you to push the limits not just for yourself but your team, your organization, and be able to take certain risks, calculated risks, to having a better future. Pain is a thorough teacher. It helps you truly understand the lessons that it's being taught to you. However, as you are a leader of a team or a group, do not subject your people through that same pain. It does them no good. The pain is meant for you and you alone to learn the lesson from. And finally, Pay attention to the senior people within your organization. Do not copy their leadership styles because they were developed in a different time, different place, different environment and conditions. But pay attention to how they talk to people. But more importantly, pay attention to how they act. Actions are stronger than words. It's important for you to be able to decipher what's an empty promise and what is good for you. Take on their mentorship. If, one, if somebody's willing to take you on as a mentor, gravitate to it. If they're excelling, you're excelling. If you're excelling, they're going to excel. Together, that mentor-mentee become a good team that moves up the ranks together. 
I wish I was smart enough to look out for those things when they were offered to me, but I failed and that's why I only got so far. But for you, you have this great opportunity. Pay attention to it. You're about to embark on the most excellent adventure. You're going to have an incredible journey starting off your new phase of life. I know you can do it by having the right mentorship, by seeking out to grow, by being able to create resiliency and hang on to those idealisms. You're about to be able to have a great impact on any organization that you choose to be a part of. And if you need help along the way, look me up. I'm always looking to be on the next great adventure. I would love to join you and to be able to help you discover what the opportunities out there are for you. I'm Eric with Leadership Developed. If you like this video, hey, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up. Tell us that you like what you're watching here and we'll create more content to help you be able to grow as a leader. If you missed last week's video, check it out, it's right over here. We'll talk to you again next week.